coronavirus is a virus that we've seen before. Quite interestingly enough, um, there's a lot of, of queries out there as to how it's spread. At this particular point, at this particular juncture, we know that this is definitely spread by droplets as opposed to airborne. What would you think about when you think about something that's spread by droplets? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Some people may say sneezing, but I think one of the most common things, if you ask your eight-year-old kid, for example, they'll probably say it's rain. And when you think about rain, there are larger particles and they go a very short distance. So something like that, um, you're thinking about something that's not going to spread beyond one to a maximum probably of about two meters. When we think about things which are spread by airborne, it's quite different. So things that are spread by airborne, um, we may, you know, there's, these particular viruses or entities remain in air, or bacteria remain in air for longer periods of time, and they're spread for larger distances. Quite interestingly, with coronavirus, it is thought to be spread by droplets. It has the capacity, however, if we do medical procedures, to be aerosolized, which means it can be then spread by, by airborne. But generally, in terms of spread within uh, the public domain, the, the management or the thought at that time is it's spread by droplets, which means it spreads for distances between one to two, two meters maximum.